Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check something new. This is a kit from Edward, it's a limited edition kit, it barely fits in our um, frame and as you can see it is named as a super box, so it's molded in 148 scale and from the box art you can understand what is actually inside. That's a FA18 Super Hornet and it is based on Hasegawa plastic and now we have a chance to check it closer. I just returned from Model Borno and no time to waste, we are going to check it right now. So as I said, box is quite huge, here you can see comparison with my hand, it's really big. Here on the side we have all five marking options, so two here, two here and one more, that's uh, Golden Dragons, famous one. And of course those decals and marking options were created in cooperation with Porbo design. Here we have short list of the features, so as I said before there is a Hasegawa plastic parts for FA18E Super Hornet, Edward masks and PE parts and also cartograph decals for five marking options and also brassine ejection seat and also brassine wheels. So let's open it and take a look inside. Even though box is huge, it is surprisingly lightweight, I would say. And let's see what is hidden here. So, here you can see uh, the typical Hisigawa packaging style. So we have all plastic sprues in the same plastic bag. And on the bottom I can see various bonuses which will be actually used in order to detail this aircraft. Of course we will start with plastic sprues because um, we did not review any FA-18 from Hasegawa but first let me remind you that you can support us financially as you remember our camera broke and we need to buy a new one some of you already donated but you can support us by donating on the website it is quite easy, it is done via PayPal and of course you will be the one who decide how much we will get and I hope maybe on the end of July we will be able to get the new camera and actually return back to previous level of the quality. Now I am using the borrowed camera and it's not that good as you can see. So here we have first plastic sprue, let's zoom in and we also have here the vinyl polycaps I guess this will be used maybe for the wings, maybe for something else, maybe for landing gear wheels. We will see it in assembly manual. Here you can see the canopy parts. Of course, with this you will be able to replicate the open cockpit on your model. Molding quality seems to be more or less okay. As you can see, we have the special protection parts which will um, avoid parts breaking off. And the same here, as you can see. And as you remember, masks are included. So there is no problem with uh, this stuff you get everything out of the box and it should be easy to install and it should also speed up the whole process. Next we have huge plastic bag with large frames. So let's open it. Just give me a second. Okay. I need to cut through because this is a sealed plastic bag. That's why it's not as easy as it could have been. Nevertheless, so what do we have here? A lot of big plastic sprues. So first of all here we have big one with fuselage parts. As you can see that's the bottom and top house. Also here we have the air intake parts, so engine gear covers and again some parts for the air intakes. And overall this is a typical Tamiya uh, Hasegawa plastic, so as you can see we have nice external detailing. And then here you can see that wheel wells are promoted, so you have just to add a, um, let's say some minor details and you will be good to go. Here from the other side you can see that there is nothing interesting, I can see those holes, I guess they will have to be drilled for some internal components and also here we have the guiding pins which will help you with alignment. Okay, let's move on because we have next actually a pair of sprues because they are absolutely identical. Here you can see them. Let's zoom out again. So here we have few tank ports, also engine nozzles, pylons, pilot seats, landing gear wheels, pilot figurines and some other minor elements. So I will show you only one because they carry 
absolutely identical plastic parts so there is no point to show them one by one and as I said before molding quality looks fine and it's really cool to get the um, at least some armament out of the box so you won't have to get anything separately and as you remember the pilot seats will be replaced with brushing parts so there is no need to use them but still we can zoom in even more so that you can see those parts in detail those are heads for the pilot here you can see the pilot body I can guess that in assembly manual for this limited edition it will be marked as unused but of course nobody stops you from um, actually installing this figurine into your airplane and here we have the landing gear wheels again the same story it will be replaced with um, pressing parts so they will stay in your uh, spare box where you can use them for some next projects Next we have another plastic sprue, this one is bigger than what we saw just a second ago. Why? Because here we have large panels for air intakes here and also large panels for the nose section. Nose area is assembled separately and note that nose cone is molded together with these two house. So be ready to deal with some gaps in this area. Uh, even if you assemble it carefully still you have to sand a bit in order to get the smooth finish. Let's not forget that this is plastic. Uh, this plastic is not such a fresh kit, so that's why we have such design. Nevertheless, external detailing looks quite fine. I will zoom in so that you can see it here. Also here you can see the landing gear wheels. Again, air intake parts. That's the bottom panel for the nose area. As you can see, it is designed together with wheel wells. And then here we have the cockpit floor, so, or actually cockpit top. So here you can see it is molded as a one piece part and it looks plain but no worries this is an Edward limited edition so we get all necessary P parts in the kit. And here we have some other external panels which will be used for assembly of the Super Hornet. Next we have another large frame, this one even bigger because here we get the tail wing parts and also various minor parts for winding gear system here you can see them for example this is a nose winding gear leg um, and note that it is molded as one piece part um, everything looks fine again I can zoom in so that you can see those parts closer I think inside yes we do have the guiding pins they will help with alignment of these parts together but still you will have to be careful while joining them and here, I will show in a second, we have the landing gear legs, which look impressive. And I, th I hope that it will be easy to install them into the right spot without any unnecessary issues, let's say. Next we have last grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to wing parts, actually it should be like this. So again we have typical parts division so we get to assemble two halves together then you install the wing mechanization which is molded separately and inside we have uh, the guiding pins here and also maybe for some configurations you will have to drill holes and note those special tabs which will actually fix wings in place. These are relatively big I think they should be enough in order to hold those wing let's say some sub assemblies in the place but if you are not let's say convinced by this then you can choose um, to add something additional to this design next we have small plastic bag with brushing ports so first of all we have the landing gear wheels these are typical brushing parts so that's why they are obviously superior to what we saw in original Hasegawa plastic and note that we have the middle section here molded separately while other side is molded together and we have pre-molded details on the tire walls and front landing gear wheels are molded as one piece parts and I think there will be masks included for those elements so that you won't have any issues with those parts next we have the pilot seat so just give me a second as usual we have it as a three-piece assembly 
let's zoom in a bit more, maybe camera will focus, I'll zoom out so that you can focus, now you should be able to see it. So here we have the padding separate and the main part is molded as a one piece part as you can see here, it looks really good and of course it will be improved or upgraded with P parts, they come on the separate P thread and again I will remind that this detailing is better than what we get in original Hasegawa plastic. Next we have small plastic bag with P thread, surprisingly there is only one P thread as far as you can see, so just give me a second. This is a pre-painted P thread and here we have all necessary parts for the cockpit and also some external elements, so just give me a second. So first of all here we have a small film for target site, I'll do it like this, now we should be able to see it. Next we have the P thread, so here as I said we have various cockpit parts, seat belts, side panels, instrument panel, also we have the air intake meshes and just give me a second. Yes, we do have the, uh, as you can see, the lens finish on the dials. It should add some uh, realistic appearance to the model as a result. Next we have small plastic bag with mask sheet. So just give me a second to open it and we'll take a closer look. Actually I was quite surprised that this kit on model Bernoid was sold out really fast. So here you can see that masks are uh, designed for use with canopy and wheels. We will see it also in assembly manual. Next we have really huge decal sheet. This one comes from Cartograph as you can see. And once again I will remind you that it was created in cooperation with Furball design. And just give me a second. Actually Edward decided to work with Furball on every US aircraft limited edition, actually US jet aircraft. So now it's not surprising that we have them here as well. Okay, so this is a really big decal sheet, but no worries because it has the segmentation, so you can cut off the necessary area for your marking option and you won't have to cut through the whole decal sheet. And as you can see the stencils and also the cockpit decals are separated here on the bottom so they are universal, they will be used on all marking options. Again you just cut them off and apply on your model. But printing quality looks really good. I can zoom in a bit more so that you can see some of the symbols. And I hope it will be easy to work with this. Of course some others we will replicate, um, let's say, certain elements with masks. It will be up to you. But still, even if you use all those symbols for your build, your aircraft, the final result should look quite good. Here we have assembly manual. This one is printed in form of this large brochure. As you can see on the cover, we have all five marking options and bonuses. Um, next, we have parts map, paints chart. And assembly process starts with cockpit. As you can see, you have to add some P parts, you have to send the plastic. Then we assemble the pilot seat. Next, we go on with instrument panel. Here we have the cockpit tab. The nose area is assembled together with cockpit area. And next, we continue with wings. And note that you can assemble the folded wings configuration as well. So it will be up to you which one you will choose. Here we work on air intakes, then we continue with fuselage assembly, um, the tail fins installation here and tail wings as well, the engine nozzles, and know that there should be a decal applied into this part. Then we continue with landing gear rack and wheels, here we install the pylons, actually these are not pylons, this is a configuration for flaps up and flaps down, so another option. Next here we have the landing gear system installation, as you can see these are landing gear doors. Here we actually choose what we would like to have on the aircraft, so as you can see there are several layouts for the external fuel tanks and missiles. 
here you can see the masks application guide as well as canopy installation on the model. Again you can replicate the aircraft with open or closed canopy. It will be up to you which one you will choose. Here we continue with clear ports and even weather is included here if you would like to place it beside the aircraft. And the first marking option is shown like this. So this one comes from 2013 USS Carl Winson. Next we go on with USS Truman 2010, USS George Washington 2015, next USS Reagan 2015, USS Bush 2017, and then stenciling guide. Let's not forget that US aircraft are quite generous on stencils. So I would recommend to apply all those decals because they will change the appearance of your model. And here you can see the related products for FA-18E. So those are mainly armament items, but still they should be quite an interesting addition to a uh, model in such big scale. So as I said before, this kit should be already available on official Edward website and I would recommend to hurry because now, uh, those limited editions nowadays they get they sold out, sell out actually really fast. So if you would like to get one, you should really hurry. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.